Hi and welcome to another Tech Tuesday. Today I'm going to do a comparison on the Black Widow Elite here from Razer and the Huntsman Elite. I did a review independently on these two and I asked whether you wanted to see a comparison and you guys gave me a thumbs up so here it is as promised. So this video today is going to show you some of the differences between these two keyboards because they are very similar. They're both recently released from Razer in the last two or three months and if you're looking to buy one of these you'll want to know what the differences are so today I'm going to go through those. So let's start with a few things that are the same on these keyboards, that being the keycaps are the same, the media keys are the same, the font is the same, the thickness of the cable is the same, but there are still some subtle differences here which we're going to go through now. So one of the differences here is which switches you can get with, with which keyboard. The Huntsman itself is limited to the Opto Mechanical switch or the purple. You can't have any other switch on it. The Black Widow Elite though, you could have the Razer Green, which is a tactile bump, and you also have a click. You could have the Orange, which is a tactile bump, but no click, it's silent. Or you could have the Yellow, which I've gone for, which is no tactile bump and is also silent. The green razor switch is similar to the Opto Mechanical, although I have found the Opto Mechanical to be a little bit more clicky, I guess you could say. It's a little bit higher pitched and it has slightly, in my opinion, a lighter press of actuation. It doesn't badly replicate the mechanical key, but if you want true mech keys, then you're going to have to go for the Black Widow Elite. That's the only option you have here. So moving on to the styling, which is some of the major changes here. The Black Widow comes with a palm rest, as does the Huntsman. One of the major differences here that most of you will know about is if you get the Elite, you end up having a lot more RGB on it, including on the wrist pad. And that also requires an additional USB, which is why it doesn't have a USB pass-through on the Elite Huntsman. If you do want a USB pass-through, you will have to get the Black Widow. And that also comes with a 3.5mm audio microphone combo jack. They both have two USB, but as said, the Huntsman requires the second to power the round the edge strip and the RGB palm rest. The differences with the palm rest is that the Huntsman is a slightly more squared palm rest, whereas the Razor Black Widow is at more of a slope and a more of a traditional kind of palm rest. Both of these keyboards come with the new Razor Media Key function and scroll wheel. They both work on Synapsys 3. They both have identical keyboard layouts. The other major difference is that the Black Widow is more sloped as a keyboard, including the palm rest, and the Huntsman is a bit more flat. It can be raised, but it's a lot more higher profile keyboard. That could make you a little bit awkward on your wrists if you're used to having your keyboard a little bit flatter on the desk, although I do personally prefer the Huntsman's angle compared to the Black Widow. One of the other major differences is that the Huntsman has no cable management in the rear of this keyboard. The cable comes just out the rear of it. You can't angle it down any of the sides or underneath. The Black Widow though, on the other hand, has cable management, which is great to see here. It would have been nice for the Huntsman to have this because the Black Widow, you can hunt down the left channel, the right channel, out the back, and also down under through the desk if you drill your desk, so it looks almost wireless. Feet wise on the bottom of these, both the pads and the keyboards are both very sturdy. They don't move around and they have pretty much the similar kind of feet on the bottom, although the Black Widow is missing one at the rear in the middle, which you don't even notice due to the cable management. So the lens here comparing the Black Widow comes in at 445 millimeters. The Huntsman also comes in at a length of 445mm, so these are the same length. The width of the Black Widow without a palm rest is 170mm. And the width of the Huntsman without the palm rest is 140mm. So the Huntsman is a little bit shallower in width here, but it's mainly because of the sloped front on the Black Widow that gives it that extra few millimetres. With the palm rest, the Black Widow comes in at a width of 200 and 35 millimeters and the Huntsman with its palm rest comes in at a width of 225 millimeters so again about 10 millimeters in width difference the Huntsman does become a bit wider here because it's more of a squared off palm rest whereas the Black Widow has a kind of angled palm rest so the palm rest adds a little bit of a shorter distance on it because it kind of slots over the top of that ramp at the front rather than being dead square against it like the Huntsman Moving on to the height here, the front of the Black Widow is 20mm high 
and the front of the Huntsman is 20 millimeters high, so they're both very similar here. I didn't measure the front curve of the Black Widow because it tends to tailor off a little bit, so the highest point at the front is 20 millimeters, as is the Huntsman. And the rear of the Black Widow comes in at 40 millimeters, whereas the rear of the Huntsman is 30 millimeters when the feet are extended. So both of these have the same adjustable feet. They are two stages. You've got like a higher foot and then a lower foot. They're both identical. It will slightly adjust the rear of the keyboard. I find the Huntsman's a little bit flat when it's laid down to be fair. And I do like the angle version of the Black Widow when it's got no feet extended. So one of the differences is if you don't get the Elite Huntsman here, you will end up having a very similar keyboard to the Black Widow. The Huntsman Elite has all this additional RGB lighting, but the Huntsman Standard One, or Huntsman if you want to call it, doesn't have the RGB and it makes it a very similar style to the Black Widow. Again, you've still got some of these angles that are slightly different with the Black Widow, but you end up having a slightly similar keyboard. Price-wise, which is the final thing here, is the Huntsman comes in at around £199, the Elite, and the Black Widow comes in at £169, or $200 and $170. I have seen the Huntsman Elite a little bit cheaper for that now, coming down into a similar price as the Black Widow. But overall, they're kind of in the same price bracket if you're spending that kind of money anyway. So material-wise, I find the Huntsman does attract fingerprints a lot more than the Black Widow. I'm not sure why that is. They are built out of very similar materials. The Huntsman has more of an aluminium top on. You can see the screws of it. Although to me, it feels quite plastic aluminium. It must have a special coating. And the Black Widow, again, has a different coating on top and again with an aluminium top around it. But it doesn't seem to attract the fingerprints like the Huntsman does. So if you've got OCD with fingerprints, you probably want to take the Black Widow. So RGB-wise, although the Huntsman has additional RGB around the base of it, and to be fair, the Huntsman looks 10 times better with the RGB on it. I love the way this thing looks. The actual effects these two can both do are identical within Synapsis. There's no difference. So let me show you what they look like when they're running RGB. Has no patience, look at his face and in his eyes He's been waiting, he's been way bound to the die Always taking chances, all those conversations Don't know if I make it, don't know why he even tries Say, oh, I am a believer Oh, don't know I'll be if I'm not free to take a lead Stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground Stay down to the ground Ground, ground, ground Ground, 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 ground. Stay down to the ground Dancing, up, right, up, 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 dancing, up, right, up,
So I know some of you are going to ask me which one would I pick and which one have I been using. I've been using the Black Widow Elite and it's purely because of the switch. I actually prefer the look of the Huntsman and the styling of it. And I'd use that one apart from you can only have purple switches on it. Or you can do at the time of this video. And I prefer the razor yellows because they're silent for when I'm doing streaming and just typing on stream and generally just typing anyway. The noise can get a bit irritating for the people. So hence I picked the yellow switches. So I hope you like this video. Let me know in the comments which one you would pick. Let me know if you like this video with the thumbs up. Much appreciated. And I'll see you all again for the next video. Catch you soon. Bye bye.